Well, just inside this door here is where the shooting death took place. But according to new information released today, police say it all started somewhere else earlier that day. They say it began with a pair of bomb threats, one against Frontier Behavioral Health, another against the ER at Deaconess Hospital. The calls came from this Ramada Inn downtown, from a room registered to Nancy King. According to a county press release, officers knocked on the door, but she wouldn't open it. The release says SPD requested a behavioral health crisis responder, but that request was denied, and King later left the hotel. Crisis responders are provided to the city in an agreement with Frontier Behavioral Health. A spokeswoman for Frontier refused to answer our questions about this case or even about how requests are processed in general, claiming confidentiality concerns. It was later that night that King arrived at the jail. She entered an outer lobby and started buzzing to be allowed inside, county officials say. The receptionist called in Sergeant Justin White, who opened the door to the lobby, after which officials say King pointed a knife at White and started walking toward him. They say White backed away, pointed his gun at King, and told her to drop the knife, but she kept walking towards him and he eventually shot and killed her. The prosecutor's office says this account is backed by eyewitnesses along with security tape. As a result, they are not filing any charges against White calling the shooting justified. Following King's death, several local activist groups and King's nephew publicly questioned why White needed to use deadly force. King was 70 years old. Her nephew says she had struggled with mental illness in the past. Tonight, the president of the local NAACP chapter sent a statement to Krem. It read in part, quote, when we justify excessive force being used on community members elderly or who are likely suffering from mental health issues, we have missed the mark. Justification is often misconstrued as permission to kill. I look forward to a day when we as a nation can see the humanity in the actions of those among us who are mentally ill or justice involved in the same way that we see the humanity of law enforcement officers. And we put in a request to have access to that security video. It has not yet been released. Reporting at the Spokane County Jail tonight, Casey Decker, Crime 2 News.